You ever play The Last of Us before? I watched my friend play it the day it came out. Like I went over to his house on PS3. He had a, P P P had a PS3. And then I went home and I wanted to finish watching the rest of the game. And so I quite literally watched the White Boy 7th Street playthrough of The Last of Us. So my entire exposure to The Last of Us story was watching White Boy 7th Street, the Call of Duty YouTuber, play through the entire game. Funny moments montage from The Last of Us by White Boy 7th Street. Look, here we go. Classic here. If you like Connor ah, Eats Pants, you'll Rocket love Pops. Connor Enjoy Eats Pants video. Live. Man, if content creators from like 10 years ago were around now, dude, they'd be making so much money. They're just right creator, wrong time. They would have been so viral. Movie Game Monday, uh, essentially TV Game Sunday, actually, is what today is. The Last of Us. New game. Whoa, wait, look at these graphics. There he is, yeah, he's Pedro Pascal from Game of Thrones. Where did you get the money for this? Drugs. I sell hardcore drugs. She sells drugs? Wait, where's the mom? Gay? Wait, two dads? Honey, I need to get your daddy on the phone. Uncle Tom Which Tom one? I need to talk to your dad now. This Which daddy? Can't she just die already? What? Damn. No, she really is a girl. Look at those bracelets, dude. Nah, this is a girl game. She's got bracelets on the counter. I'm gonna walk backwards. Was that funny when I walked backwards as the character for a little bit, guys? I don't know. I couldn't. There wasn't really an ending to Dad? that bit. I'm a little sick today. You just gotta give me time. You're gonna have to let me cook for a bit. This is only possible on Daddy? PlayStation. There seems to be some commotion coming from. <laughs> hey! No fake news media. No, it's not a scary game, guys. No, it's a fun game. Eight missed calls. Weak wallpaper. <laughs> Wait, this is like the White Boy 7th Street video. There you are. Sarah, are you okay? Wait, is the game too dark for you guys? Can you not see? Let me put it on photo mode and help you out. <laughs> there you go. It's the Coopers. Something right with them. I think they're sick. Oh, they did get vaccinated. <gasps> oh, hell nah. That's that new Moderna shit. $110 a pop. Jimmy, I am warning you. <laughs> oh, Jimmy. Mr. Beast! There is something bad going on. I mean, you've got to get out of here. Do you understand me? Come is this on. like a zombie game? Wait, doesn't this part take place in like Austin, Texas? No, I think this part literally does take place in Austin, Texas. How you hold up, honey? Don't talk to me, other dad. I hope that son bitch made it out. Um, probably not. His house is on fire. Del Sol. Wait, can we eat there? I'm hungry. Why'd you get out of your car, idiot? Hold on, I, my, I can't turn quick enough to see all the angles, guys. Hold on. I'm only like 12. Why are you driving towards where they're running from? Why are we driving this way? Oh, no. No HBO show, guys. Everybody died. Oh, I'm supposed to press the button. <laughs> you be able to play some destiny later tonight? No, it's Last of Us Night, man. It's, there's a new show coming out, man. You see? Oh, maybe don't go this way. Through which? This way? Okay. I need to visualize the audio like Fortnite. Yeah, we can. Don't worry. He's a main character. Oh, look. We're okay. This seems like a safe spot. Once we get to the police, we'll be fine. They, they like, protect the citizens. Wait, no, don't eat me. We're fine. Everything's fine. Got a couple of civilians on the outer perimeter. He's on the phone with Joe. Tell Joe, tell Joe I voted for him. What'd Joe say? Put him, put him on the line. Oh, hell nah. Oh my God. Wait, this is a sad game. This game is unrealistic. The police would never do that. <laughs> Fuck you and your ugly ass daughter. The Last of Us Part 1. Neil Druckmann, game director. More like Neil Cuckman, because he puts woke in video games. They got Yoshi making this game? 20 years later. Long time. I'm coming. <laughs> He's what? How was your morning? Oh my god, she grew up. <laughs> Wait, I misread the story. Different person, guys. It's not Sarah. She gives car mechanic vibes. Like in other games or movies, she'd be like the local car mechanic. And she's like, oh, you need a radiator fixed on your car? And you go to her and you'd be, she'd be like, ah, I can fix it right up for you. I heard a baby. If, it, if I ran the apocalypse, I'd say you can't have babies. Like, I just, I draw the line. Too much potential sad, dude. I hate when babies die. I hate when girls die. Now, if it was a baby that was a girl that died, oh my god. 
Wait, does that mean we can't go? Does that mean we can't go that way? I saw an article that was like, how Last of Us became like the best story ever told in games and gamers were so fucking mad at that insinuation. Gamers were so fucking mad that the insinuation the Last was the best story ever told in games because um, have they played Celeste? Um, have they played um, uh, this random weeb game? Whatever the fuck. Yeah, you might be right that the story and the narrative might be a bit more complex in those games, but in this game, it's better because it's on the PlayStation and normal people, you know what? Here's the deal. Normal people fucking played this game is the, is the situation here. Normal fucking people played this game, which makes it better. Instead of you fucking weebs who play some fucking niche dumb anime shit. What about Halo? Well, normal people played Halo, but then they, in the show, they made Master Chief like fuck Cortana or some shit. No, not even Cortana. Alien girl. Cortana did watch though. Kojima wishes he made this shit. I can't wait for the God of War show to suck ass because it's not the last of us. I think that show actually will suck ass though. You can't really cast Kratos. He's too, he's larger than life. They cast the rock allegedly. That'd be awesome. Move the melee setup. I hope there's no zombies up here. Be careful. When am I not? Shut up. Stop flirting. That's your daughter, dude. I think. I didn't pay attention. Wait, look at these graphics. It's crazy that this runs on Nintendo Switch. Dude, if Neil Cuckman made this game today, Tess would be a boy named like Bob, and then him and Joel would be boyfriends probably. You know, gamers, do you feel? Damn, it's smelly in here. This is why you put dryer sheets in the dryer, boys. Don't make the same mistake as these guys. Look at this shit. And you also clean out the lint in the dryer too. Apart, Wait, this careful. is still Austin, Texas, maybe? This might be Asmund's stream room. Wait, where's my daughter? <laughs> Joel is amnesia. Hey man, you just got triangled, motherfucker. No, I'm just gonna go around that. Y'all enjoy, y'all feast. Y'all eat, I'll be over here. Where's my daughter? Sorry guys, no more dead daughter jokes. I just got feedback from management. Not landing, I've heard. I'll be reverting that. No more dead daughter jokes in the stream, guys. I think the show's gonna be better than the game because in the game, you have to actually play the video game, which the gameplay is not really that engaging or exciting. Whereas in the show, I can just sit my ass down and have my phone out and do other things and be like, look at the show and be like, oh, Pedro Pascal. It's hard going back to part one after having part two gameplay. I've never played part two. Not when I saw the political messaging of that game, guys. Sorry. Oh, I came to the wrong fucking neighborhood, didn't I? Hey guys, it's me, Joel. The Mandalorian walking through Mos Eisley. Wait, I get those vibes. Turn the fuck around and leave now. Oh, I've been waiting for a combat tutorial. Fuck this. <laughs> Ow! Nasty. This is a pretty good shot, though. I feel like this is a little bit excessive for what, like, one fucking 1911 shot would do. I feel like it's a bit much. Are you, what are you, a fucking crime scene investigator? Yeah. No, I literally am. It's funny you ask. I literally, that's literally what I do. I'm literally a crime scene investigator. Funny that you would, like, even ask that. You look really stupid now, don't you, Cheddar? Like, what are you, a crime scene investigator? Yes. Is that why you never stream? Yeah, I'm busy. It's kind of giving Last of Us vibes. Oh shit. I meant to tell you I was telling George. Uh Okay. <laughs> we got him, guys. That was on purpose. Good stealth. Anybody else getting walking dead vibes from this with like the zombies? Guy's too paranoid to stay here by himself. <laughs> got you guys. You got Joel, bitch. Oh, what a shot. Here I come, man. From HBO. It's me, Joel. My nose itches. That wasn't Joel. That was that was Connery's pants. I should probably stop doing cocaine. I should stop doing that. When do I find Ellie from The Last of Us? Spoilers. Sorry, I'm just getting impatient. Put your gun down. Now go fuck yourself. He's running. Thanks for the gun. Wait, get the loot the gun. I got the gun. Oh, I'm coming. Ellie's in the next episode. Wait, no. She's the main character. I went the wrong way. He juked me. He ju I don't know where I'm going. I don't know this map. But this is the bad guy from the Hulk. Oh, wait. Girl boss. Where's my daughter? Everybody just looks at Joel confused every time. Like, what? What? What do you What, Joel? What do you mean? It's been 20 years, Joel. You owed us. I'd say you bet on the wrong horse. Wait, we're betting on horses? Dude, no analogies. I'm trying to follow the story and I'm confused. Yo, what the fuck, Sarah? Sorry, you're not my daughter. I'm sad. I miss her. You don't have to look very far. Flashlight on. <laughs> I, I like immediately smashed R3. Tried to just turn the flashlight on and off. This character seemed interesting. I'd be really pissed that it made a prequel DLC and made her gay. Neil Cuckman better not. 
I think this is the one character actually that's playing their character in the show. I saw Jeff Keighley tweet. Is that true? Someone back me up. I think Marlene's like the only one reprising her role. The zombies also reprise their role. Oh, that's all wait, good for the zombies. Wait, that's so good to hear. I, people have not been good to zombies lately. They have not had much work. Listen, I don't, I don't agree with zombies on much, and I will say they're more problematic than, than they are, like, good, but it doesn't mean they don't deserve work. Well, that's good. Dude, it's so tough to aim. I need, like, Splatoon gyro controls. Connor's playing as how the middle-aged father would. This is Pedro Pascal gameplay. I think Connor may by chance eat my friend's shit-filled pants. He doesn't know how to unshit them. Not a funny message, man. The thing about farts or poop is funny anymore. I'm 23 years old. Sarah! Joel, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> wait, I have two daughters. Explain to Joel again how Tess is not his daughter. He's like, I wait, I played, you, I played your prequel DLC. Are you gay? I'll say this for Joel. Honestly, daughter upgrade. And what I mean is like, this girl is immune to the vi- Wait, this is a spoiler actually. You don't even know this yet. She's immune to the virus. The other daughter was not immune to bullet. I'm your dad now. You're gonna listen to me. Wait, it's not his daughter. What the fuck? I come back, it's a different kid. No, it'd be crazy if, if, like, this scene explores, like, you know, the absence, the absent void in his life of, like, his daughter's death, and, like, he fills it with, like, this other girl who, like, becomes, like, a, almost, like, his adopted, adopted daughter, and, like, they develop, like, a father-daughter relationship. That'd be crazy if that's the kind of theme this game explores. Okay, I'm not even kidding. I've played to this point in the game before. On stream in, like, 2017. I don't know if clips exist, but I distinctly remember being stuck here for 15 fucking minutes. I literally just came back to me, and I, again, I don't know what I'm doing. Never mind, figured it out. Never finished the game, only watched White Boy 7th Street finish it. Like most Americans. Honestly, Joel's got a bit of a like gay walk. This is the Austin show going to the aisles at CVS, man. Dumpster level, guys. If he, dude, if Dumpster is in the show, that'd be a good reference. What's the deal with you and Marlene, anyways? <laughs> Are y'all gay? Damn, nice flat. What am I supposed to do? Maybe go like have like a DLC or something. Like the Ellie's like perusing of the of the apartment complex while Joel's sleeping DLC. Playing this just makes me realize they should have adapted Days Gone into an HBO show instead of this. I need you to ride me like you ride your motorcycle all night long. <laughs> that would have been a much better line than anything I've heard in this so far. No question. It's literally a line from Days Gone. Why are you question mark? You, you, you guys haven't seen that? What the fuck? This is already more cinematic. I'll, I'll go first. But here, it's literally Sarah. She's alive. I guess we really pissed off everyone on both sides. That you and I'm a centrist. This ring is a symbol of my love. <laughs> this is. Oh, it says hard. <laughs> I thought it was like that was like the R word this on his <laughs> on his fingers. Symbol. Here, you can have this one back, but only if you promise to ride me as much as you ride your bike. <laughs> yeah, they're like, we need to include that line. Imagine Joel seeing that, right? He finds out his daughter didn't die and said that to him. Man, I'd be pissed. You know, maybe I would take Ellie. Maybe she is the better option. You know, what kind of 14-year-old girl doesn't have her ears pierced? She's probably she just got no friends, dude. No girlfriends, no one to hang out with, no no earrings, dude. <laughs> yeah, we're taking her ass to Claire's after this. Where's the nearest one? We're just try trying to get the Claire's! We're trying to get the Claire's! I've been in this spot before. I'm about to lose another daughter. Yo, what the hell? Nice going, dumbass. You just hurt the police. They're the good guys, Ellie. We Positive. COVID. We got an appointment. We have an appointment at Claire's. Oh no, they shut down Claire's. Oh no. Put her down. She said that they have their own little quarantine zone with doctors. They're still trying to find a cure. Yeah, we've heard that before, huh, Tess? Vaccine works, Joel. How many times did the fucking tell you? <laughs> Tess and Joel to start arguing again. Do I need to remind you what is out there? My daughter, Sarah. I get it. <laughs> Joel, what the fuck? Joel, no! If Mark Wahlberg was still alive, he would have stopped all this. This game is boring. I'm gonna go burn a library. <laughs> okay, well, calm it down, chatter. Let's not burn the books so quick. This game's a pretty good allegory for what it's like to be a single father and like, well, not even single father. Just an, an outnumbered father, right? Like, you have a See, wife and a daughter. Way. Outnumbered in the house. No other men. They're all walking around. They're all like, oh, are you going to get the zombies? Are you going to open the door? What happened to society? Neil Cuckman really fucked us over with this. <laughs> Almost got rid of him. All Joel wants to do right now is to kick back with a cold beer and watch some football. And I'll be honest, I don't think the family even loves him that much. Or respects him. So how can he love them? And like... 
give back to the fad this like, what's, what's he supposed to do he's in a tough spot and i gotta choose the show over you i'm sorry wait is the show starting now oh it is coming out soon right oh, it comes out in four minutes yeah i can't let you yeah true that show's coming out i should probably end how do i end this with like a funny joke hold on photo mode <laughs> this is a light oh, there we go last of us enjoy the show guys on hbo remember to subscribe for free